Okay guys, so Jason has been working really hard here around the house, um, helping me get ready to go. He has today off because he's got to work the rest of the week while we're gone, um, kind of switched his days around with our employees. So he's been here cleaning and vacuuming and mopping and I've been putting, being a man, being a man doing his duties. <laughs> He's really good at helping me around the house, you guys. I think that I had a mild but excruciatingly painful bout of food poisoning last night. Like it literally felt like my stomach was like moving. Like it was gurgling so bad that like, it wasn't making any noise, but it literally felt like I had a baby kicking inside my stomach. It was ridiculous. I got the kids home from their activities last night at the church. What do you want to do? I don't know. You can take yours. Okay. Or mine. No, it's fine. We can take No, mine. we have to go to Costco. Do we have a bunch to get? It'll fit in your car, but if you'd like to take my car, he doesn't like to take his car because he puts so many miles on his car. So I will sacrifice the miles on my car and take my car because I love you. Um, I got home from taking the girls, or bringing them home from their church activities, and my stomach was just like, I, this is not okay. I had issues and I felt, felt like I was gonna throw up at one point, but I never did. Climbed into bed at 9.30, laid there in literal pain. Like my stomach was like in a complete knot all night long. And then that put pressure on my back. So then my back was hurting and woke up with just the back pain. So I'll take that. But this morning I feel clammy, you know? I had a mild fever, it got up to 99.9 .9 last night. I did test it so I could see what was going on. I feel like if I can just get Costco done this morning, I can be home the rest of today. What's that shirt? Oh, my sweatshirt. I thought it was gonna be cold, <laughs> but I'm not right now. So I'm just gonna do Costco with Jason. And then I'm gonna work on two videos, part of this today's video, so I can have a good portion of next week covered for after we get back from this vacation, or wedding for my sister, and then I'm gonna do my nails. I gotta convince Abby to do her nails tonight too because she had packed all this nail polish <laughs> in her suitcase. And I was like, dude, we can't take it all with us. We gotta get our nails done today, and then we'll... Um... <laughs> Apparently Jason wants to go. That's what we're gonna go do, guys. Would I contradict that? Okay. This guy. Should we sit anyway? So yeah. So the great, amazing, what is it, Harry London, Harry's London chocolate stuff we've talked about before. The s'mores that the he's s'mores. addicted to. He's totally, cracked. He's totally addicted to it. So they're getting fewer and fewer at Costco. Yeah. There's so, only one tiny bin of them left, which means they're gonna run out. They're they gonna run out more. It's a specialty item. They don't stock it often. Oh gosh, don't worry about me. I won't. Um, and so she was like, hey, they're running out. We better we better get some more just because they're gonna run out. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. So we got two and then we get in the car and she's loading it up. And what'd you say? Nothing. I think I just said, well, this will help supplement my secret stash that I got. <laughs> He That's already got more. I, lied to her. I didn't lie to you. Omitting the truth is still lying. I didn't omit anything. You said, you said, hey, you they're haven't gonna run told out. me. They're gonna run out. And I'm like, you're right. They are gonna run out. We should get more. I in no way lied to you. But you didn't tell me that you already had some. How are those two things relevant? Simply saying, hey, I already have a stash. I still want more doesn't contribute to the thing. Because I still want more. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna run. We're done at Costco, clearly. Oh, you can't see our stuff back there. Um, Where'd that light bulb go? Oh, it was underneath the cart. It was underneath the peas in the cart. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it. I don't know. Where did you put it? Anyway, he's gotta go get a specific light bulb. Maybe you put it back there? It was in the cart. Anyway. I didn't lie. He has a hard time, like, um, thinking that Ooh, omit- almost lost the eggs. Not omitting the truth. I didn't omit any truth. Yeah, you did. No, what truth did I omit? That you had another stash. There was no need to bring it up. <laughs> I know, that's the whole point. Anyway, I want him to go away. 
so I can talk. <laughs> Did you find it? He found it. Okay. So anyway, what he doesn't realize is I'm gonna take these two bags that we just barely got and add it to the other bag that I got last time and hide it as well. He, he says he has a stash, so he doesn't need any more. And I'm gonna hang on to him. I'm actually gonna take two of them and put them in a new location. So he might get one next week, or you know, while we're gone, he might be able to find it if he watches that video. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, you've already, no, you haven't seen that yet. So coming up, no, yeah, you have. He's gonna, in a previous video, I showed him where I hid the snack that I already got. So as soon as he watches that, he'll find that one. But I think I'm gonna take these two and hide them in a different spot. Cause he seriously can go through a whole bag in like two sittings, like two nights of watching TV. But he has a problem, he doesn't know how to like control himself when he has a snack. And so we need to kind of help the man out. And yes, Jason, I'm talking to you. And I know you're gonna watch this eventually. So you need to control. I mean, at least when I have ice cream, I just have like one bowl of ice cream but he has a hard time doing portion controls with his snack. So, anyway, he's in low, he's getting one light bulb, and I think that's all he's getting. I'm getting like that clammy, hot sensation again, so we're just gonna go home, and I just need to be at home the rest of the day in case I need to like take a rest. And the kids, two of them have their half day today, and then Kaylee and Abby get home later today and so I've got to get them doing their homework so that they don't have as much to make up when they get back from our trip and everyone's gonna oh shoot I gotta run into a drugstore on our way home now because I need melatonin one Chelsea has been struggling to go to sleep and she admits it she's like I'm really struggling I don't know how to like turn my mind off and she's not looking at an electronic beyond her 15 minutes or 10 minutes of time at nighttime she just really struggles to go to sleep and she's really getting worried that she's not gonna get a good night's sleep before this trip because we have to get up at like 4.30 in the morning to get over to the airport and catch our flight. I think she's really lethargic in the afternoons when she gets home from school and she's starting to see that she needs to get some more sleep. And so she's kind of begged me yesterday. She's like, please, can you get some melatonin? I just need to go to sleep at night. Um, and she's one of my good kids. Like, she recognizes what melatonin does for her. And I can't roll my window up. Sorry if it's noisy. He took the keys. <laughs> she recognizes that melatonin really does like help her go to sleep. It relaxes her body and then she can go to sleep. And so when she asks for it, she truly like wants to go to sleep. The other, you know, I've given it to Ashley before on a regular routine just because she just is a giggly kid and she just doesn't want to go to bed. She wants to be up with the older kids. So anyway, I'm going to have to remember to stop and get some of that because I don't want to go back out again today. So I just want to go home and make sure I'm fully ready rested for this trip so okay you guys <laughs> this guy is freaking ridiculous we just unloaded our Costco groceries I have a mail right here and in the process of unloading the car actually I'm gonna put this I gotta hang on I gotta hold these with me because in the process of opening the car hang on I'll get you further away from my face he had opened a bag of these s'mores already even though he's told me ah my keys even though he's told me he already has a bag okay so I took this bag away he'd already munched on this while we unloaded the groceries and then I went down and got the mail and I told him to get his other he'd already hidden the other bag and I told him to go and get it and bring it to me because he doesn't need to have it if he has one opened already literally walked down got the mail no no just give me a bag. Just give me a bag. Oh my gosh, he has some, he's opened both bags that we just barely got. Even though he has a bag open, but he says he doesn't want to go through that stash right now. Okay, I'll give it back to you. I just need a little bit. <laughs> you have a problem. He has a problem, quote. We are labeling this video S'mores Problem. He is addicted to this stuff. And. I don't know. If you call I, it my husband's addiction, it might get more hits. I get, I know, because that's misleading and not fair. <laughs> because there are real problems with addiction than this. So that's not really that fair. But 
Do you admit it's fine for me? It's not alcohol, honey, or drugs, but it is a problem. So I gotta like keep an eye on this stuff without him. I gotta hide it without him seeing where it goes. You. Mm. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> you all snuggly, snuggly? Just rest, okay? Mm. Don't sleep, because I need you to sleep tonight, and I got you melatonin, okay? Everyone's kind of a little lazy and sleepy today. Don't go to sleep, though, because I need you to sleep tonight, okay? So in case you missed it, we are doing a scare project for Halloween Day. So you'll have to go back and check that out if you didn't watch that on Halloween. Anyway, that's fun. So I have like this mission of scaring everyone. <laughs> I know it's so far no so one. That's your scare project? Yeah. I didn't know you were doing a scare project. I thought you were just being annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's a scare project and I'm so far I'm winning. No one else picks up the camera. You're welcome to pick up the camera. You always have the camera. So it's hard to get the camera. The to camera like was sitting it. the camera yeah. was sitting right there. You could have gotten it and come scare me. Just it's, just randomly jump out from around. Well, I just did it right there and she's laying in her room. I know she's there. She knows I'm, you know, here at home. You just have to turn the camera on. This is the key, is that it beeps and I don't turn the beep off when you so that I know I'm recording. But you have to turn that on when I can't hear it. Or else they know you're coming. That's how I didn't scare Chelsea one of the, or Ashley one of the times, because she heard me turning the beep on and off. Okay. Sneaking up on her. So I'm, I'm go giving him a heads up on how to do this. Are you gonna go for a run? I'm gonna or are go you for gonna run? Can you make that deposit for me? Yes. You want me to run to the bank? Yeah. It's a good run. <laughs> He'll run. To get ice cream. No, no, no. I want to. I want to fully explain this. This is why I'm wondering why he's hesitating. Well, it's, it's because different he to run into the bank all sweaty and stuff and pull cash out. And... <laughs> okay, but they know you there. Put your information in something I can put in my bag, and I will run to the all bank right. for you. So the thing is, he will run to the grocery store. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. Gotcha. <laughs> I cannot believe he just did that. I mean, kudos to him. He <laughs> I didn't know why he was leaving so weird. Anyway, he will like take a backpack when he goes on a run and he'll legit go and get two curtains of ice cream at the grocery store, which is right next to the bank. So for him to say he doesn't want to go to the bank after a walk or a run, I mean, is ridiculous because he clearly is willing to go into the grocery store all sweaty and gross to get ice cream of all things like if you're going on a workout the last thing you should be buying is the last thing you should be buying is ice cream <laughs> so well no one has gotten me yet no one thinks to grab the camera i'm the only one that does so kudos to jason the two younger girls are just tired but i'm not letting him fall asleep i've been editing jason had a meeting with kind of a, an investment planner oh i need to do my nails oh i forgot that's why I left this bucket out last night after I cleaned up this little craft area. I was putting all the buckets away and I realized I need to do my nails for the wedding. I don't want to waste. Oh, the internet started working. <laughs> I'm watching a KK and Baby J while I edit. I tend to like turn YouTube or Netflix on while I'm like editing the thumbnails or pictures or whatever. So I am going to turn on a show again and what do you think should I do that red might be kind of cool with like my mustard dress or like dark purple I need to use the dark fall colors while I can so I'm gonna sit down and do my nails and ooh, this is like you you can't really tell the difference in colors of purple I don't know purple or red I think she might like the burgundy it might look better with wedding pictures so I'm gonna sit down I'm already in front of the computer my back hurts I don't really want to do anything 
he's going for a run. So I'm gonna do my nails. You wanna see my nail polish bucket? I saw my craft supply bucket yesterday. So now you get to see my nail polish bucket today. So this is all of my, it's gelish. It's that gel nail polish that is like um, shellac nail polish at the salon. So there's like multiple steps that you do. Where is that one? So you follow like a step process. And then you put everything, and then you use your UV light. I need to get my little craft tools, or my <laughs> craft tools, my nail tools. Where are all of them? This one I think is gone. This one is better. I'll just use that guy. I'm not gonna worry about my toes tonight. No one's gonna see my toe. Well, maybe they will. Maybe I will do my toes, but I'm not gonna use like gel nail polish. Maybe I should use that one on my toes. I don't know. We'll see. But I've got all this stuff. Look at all these nail polishes. This is how you know you have girls. Then you have this money. Colors of nail polish to choose from. And I keep it in a box because it smells putrid. Then I can put a lid on it and you don't have to smell it. So I'm going to pick a color from my toes because they will peek out with my shoes. So we'll do that. Yeah, we are going. So I am here doing my nails. I've been here for a little while. Oh, the little thing went off. Hang on. So anyway, I realized it was either nails or dinner. <laughs> and I chose nails. So he's back from his run. He went for a run. She's been doing homework. And did no, you finish your nails? Oh. You haven't been doing homework? She will tonight, but she really has time. Let me see your nails. Oh, I took them off. They got dented. Ugh. All that work. She's been working hard on her nails. Well, I literally just took five really minutes. Care. Did you shower already? already? Yeah. Okay. So Ashley wants to show these cute little projects that she did, right? Oh my gosh, stop talking, everyone. Did you make that? And then show the next one she did. Oh, little face. Those are cool. Oh, she was working hard on it, huh? Good job, girl. Are the hands the little face? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's the hands in a donut. Yeah. The hands in holding here. a donut. To give it to yeah. the No, no, let her do it. No, oh, goodness. Bizarre. So anyway, I'm going right, to... Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I got to finish um, the last coat on my nails. And then we can run. I've only done that hand. No. He has to wait. All right, so we just got home. We actually picked up Kaylee's friend, Evelyn. When we picked up Kaylee, we just said, Evelyn, do you wanna come? And she said yes. So that was kind of fun. But now that, guys, go get in the shower and get your stuff ready for bed. Now we're kind of in uh, crunch mode to get everyone in bed. It's 7.30 and they need to all, <laughs> clearly they're getting in the shower. Hang on one second. All right, so just as we got home, um, Jason came in the house, the kids came in the house. I was looking up costumes on Amazon. The kids are all trying to figure out what they wanna do. And then Jason came running back out to the car and he needed to go get a headlamp from the friend that we did the Haunted Forest at for that party. And I'm like, why do you have to go now? Like, we're kinda, we need to get the kids in bed. And anyway, he loves talking to this friend. And I, and I love talking to the wife. And the joke is whenever we go and pick kids up or drop them off, like you can't get out of the car, you can't talk to them because we will never leave. So I made Jason start a uh, stopwatch. It takes about five minutes to get to their house and it'll be five minutes to get back. So I wanna see how long beyond 10 minutes it takes Jason because I guarantee he was so excited to go over there and I guarantee you it's because he wanted to chat with this guy, his friend, which is totally fine, but um, he claims that he's just gonna go over really quick and then be right back. So, okay, I gotta get these kids. Yes, you need to pack your... Yeah, I need to pack my toothbrush. She has an electric toothbrush. It's a new one. Okay, nice. go and ask Kaylee and Abby if you can put it in their orange. No, I already got one. I know, but I don't have anywhere to put it. Are you gonna put it in your... Yeah, I just don't know how to... Okay, so you unattach it. Hold on to that part. We're gonna this do this part? together. Yep, pull on it. You pull. There you go. And then you just put it. I feel like this is down. I don't know why. 
You put it right there. And then there was lids for these brushes. No, I know where it goes. Did the lid fall out? What? Did the lid fall out? There was lids for the toothbrush. Oh, itself. mine, um, I had one that's upstairs. I thought these clicked in. They don't click in? There we go. Oh, they do. Okay. Put it in your oh, backpack. No, I need to use it. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then go use another one. Don't use it now. No. Just put it in your suitcase. In your, put it in your backpack. I know. Go. This is kind of, we got to get them ready for bed and use all that stuff. Toothbrush, all that kind of stuff so that we can then pack it. Kind of got my pile here on the counter. And we've got melatonin today at the store. Oh, yeah. I and I get to use my electric toothbrush for the first time. I Yeah, I, Dad got me one um, right before I knew I was going to get my braces off. It's been really nice to get my teeth nice and clean. Yes, I'm going to scare Dad when he gets home. What we should do is... We're kind of on a mission. What I should do is, like, I should be just, like, down here, like, eating a yogurt, like, finishing up something, and then run up, and then you're upstairs, like, in the bathroom, so, like, he walks all the way upstairs, and it doesn't seem so suspicious. Mm -hmm. He's going to think it's suspicious no matter what, but... Well, that's I the think whole plan it, for the we're kind of so we realized I was in I was editing this scare project video and you guys have already seen it at this point it's already uploaded but um I was thinking I only had today and then when we get back in town on Monday to scare people before I have to upload that video to go live on Halloween day and then I realized someone was like well why don't you try and scare your brother and why don't you try and scare you know, your sister or something. And I was like, oh, we can continue this on our trip. So we're gonna try and scare people back home at my mom's and my dad's. We're gonna try and scare as many people as we can and add that. So if you see people, if you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch it. But just so you know that there's extra people from my family um, that we will scare in that video. Um, Jason, he's already at five minutes. So he should be there by now. Dad went over to um, yeah, to get his headlamp. I don't know why it's so urgent for him to go. <laughs> why are you having a yogurt when we just went to get dinner? Mm -hmm. I, I thought you were kidding about the whole yogurt thing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look, we got to get all of this stuff like ready to go. Okay, your boots are kind of bothering me. Sometimes. I know. My little sister, um, yeah. Can you see those boots right there? Um, my little sister Wait. wants us to bring... Mom. Um, hang on. No, you sit down and eat that. I'm going to go up and get Ashley going. My little sister wants me to bring new boots for her. And those boots, let me just say this. There are certain price limits where um, I'm not allowed to have the shoes <laughs> above certain price limits. I guess I should, I should say. If you're new to our channel, we own a shoe store. And so Jason brings me home new shoes often. I just got a new pair like two weeks ago. And because we like to take care of our feet and have good comfortable shoes and during the winter our shoes wear out quicker just because the rain takes a toll on them. And uh, whenever I go to my family's house, they're like, hey, can you bring me a shoe? <laughs> so it was my sister's turn for a new pair of boots and I'm trying to get her to spoil herself by having something that's um, really, really nice. And... She deserves it. She's totally deserves this. And packing them up and taking them to her and hope that they fit. And if not, we'll just bring them back home. But anyway, I digress. Ashley's in the shower. I hope Abby's in the shower. We're going to call it a night. And maybe Jason will end up with me. We'll show him if he makes his timer. Abby, are you in there? No, no. Okay. <laughs> I heard two different answers. Who's in the bathroom? Kaylee. I see Abby now. She's in her room. Are you okay? But you need to get in the shower, right, Abby? Yeah, but she's hogging the bathroom. <sighs> okay. The you ready to go, Abby? Yes. Excited from a shower? Yes. You got your? Is that your airplane bag? Yes. And you've got charging cords for your iPads? Mm, yeah, sure. If you forget it, you're not having a charged iPad. I know. Okay. Okay. We're going to try and scare Jason when he gets home, and then we'll see how long it's taken him. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Where's the kids?
You were trying to get me, but you didn't. Okay, Ashley, if you want to sleep on the beanbag, what's the rule? I can't get out of the beanbag. Yep, if you get off that beanbag, you go back to your bed, right? And tonight is a one-time thing. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good night, Chels. Good night. I'm going to wake you up at like 4.30 in the morning, straight to the car. You need to go right to sleep. Good night. Mahalo. Love you. Love you, too. All right, we're going to sign off officially. Jason's going to say good night. Night. I'm still determined to scare them, but we won't include that in today's video. I'm gonna go get a little cream to put. Oh yeah, she twisted her ankle during her hike today in PE. Cream to put on there. All right, take care, guys. We travel tomorrow, but you'll see that next week. So goodbye. I forgot. Ashley has my phone, but the timer is just around 20 minutes. So he took 10 minutes longer than I thought he did. What? We were timing to see how long. You saw that? No, I how long it would take what? To him for him to go over and get his. Um, <coughs> headlamp from... It takes five minutes just to get down there. I know, I said it'll take five minutes to get there and five minutes to get back. If he's truly going to just get his headlamp, he'll be back soon after ten minutes. You should time on how fast well, he eats those so small. I have to go I know. It. You have <laughs> well, to go he eats the s'more bags in a day. I was saying time how long it takes you to eat the s'more things. Yeah, that was our other half of the day. Is Daddy's addiction. Do you want to uh, show this guy? It's getting a little bulbous. I'm not one to talk, but like. I'm putting on a little bit of love. Comfort. That happens in one bag. So you know. All right. Not my. Promise spell. all the ladies you're not going to have a second bag of s'mores tonight. Oh, tonight? No, <laughs> I won't do it tonight. You can't make that promise. No, I won't do it tonight. You won't eat any more tonight? No, I'm pretty full. I'm fine. All right. This is a really sign off. I got to make sure kids are staying in bed and get the other two in bed. So, see you later.